Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi Hello, my students. How are you today? Are you fine? Alhamdulillah. Okay. First term, English. Our lesson is Unit 3, Sports and Activities, Phonics, pages 24 and 25. My name is Badr Swedan. With me, teacher Saleh al Ajan. Okay. What you will learn today, you will be able to match pictures, match pictures, to the relevant words. Also, write the missing letters according to the pictures. Match the correct statements to each other after listening. Practice using at like but with different activities. Okay. Last time we took uh, a passage about this topic, the traditional sport of falconry. Okay the traditional sport of falconry. What does it mean? Do you, do you remember what is the falcon? Yes, this is the falcon. So we have a falcon here and this is a sport. This is what? A sport. Okay. Now, what does it mean the traditional sport of falconry? What does it mean? Okay, so we, that means we have a sport here. What does it mean sport? Excellent, Riyaba. Sport and traditional. What does it mean traditional? Taqlidi, excellent. So we have the traditional sport of falconry. Okay, now let's listen to the passage the whole one time. Falconry is a popular sport in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Many people have falcons that are trained to hunt other birds and animals. Falcons are very strong birds. They can fly fast and dive even faster. They see very far, so they can spot animals that are kilometers away. They have very sharp talons that they use to attack and catch their prey. They are amazing to watch. Okay, now let's listen to it again one more time. Falconry is a popular sport in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Many people have falcons that are trained to hunt other birds and animals. Falcons are very strong birds. They can fly fast and dive even faster. They see very far so they can spot animals that are kilometers away. They have very sharp talons that they use to attack and catch their prey. They are amazing to watch. Okay, now let's take some words here to uh, check them. So, do you remember what does mean popular? Popular? Yes, everybody knows it. What does it mean popular? Yes, mashur, maruf, excellent. So we have popular sport in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. What does it mean kingdom of Saudi Arabia? Mamlaka Arabia Saudi, excellent. Okay, so many people, what does it mean? Many people, many people, not a little bit, uh, few people, no, many people. Does that mean what? Yes, Al Adid or Kathir, excellent. Many people have falcons, you, you know falcons, isn't it? Yes, that are trained, what does it mean trained? Yes, Tadarraba, excellent. To hunt other birds and animals. What does it mean hunt? Okay. The falcons are, yes, flying, then hunt a, an animal, okay? Like what? Like a rabbit, okay? So what does it mean hunt? Yes, yasid, yastad, excellent. Okay, after that, falcons are very strong birds, very strong. What does it mean strong? Yes, strong birds, okay? They can fly fast. They can fly, what? Fast. And dive Okay, dive even faster. Okay, so we have uh, two uh, speed here. They see very far, very far. What does it mean far? They can see very far. What does it mean far? Yes, بعيد. excellent, far. So they can spot animals that are kilometers away. Kilometers away, so not just meters, kilometers okay they can see kilometers away okay then after that they have very sharp talons talons okay these are talons and they are very sharp they can cut or uh, catch anything they need that they use to attack and catch their prey okay prey is like what like animals like other birds okay they are Amazing to watch. What does it mean watch? Watch, yes, amazing to watch. It's what? Beautiful. Okay, so amazing to 
watch the falcons. Excellent. Okay, now <clears throat> we have a question here. Read and say if the sentences are true or false. True or false. Okay, so if it's true, you will underline or circle the uh, letters T. If it's not correct, that means it's what? False, and you will choose the letter F. Okay, so we have T, F. True, false. True, T, false, F. Okay, now number one. Many, be many people in Saudi Arabia like falcony. Like, I, li I like it. I love it. Okay, is it uh, true or false? So we have T or F. What do you think? Yes, excellent. So it's what? True. It's what? True. That's right. Excellent. So many people like, love, what? The falcon. Okay. Number two, falcons slow down when they dive to catch an animal. Okay. Again, falcons slow down. Not fast, slow down. Okay. Slow down when they dive to catch an animal. What do you think? Is it true or false? True or false? Are the falcons slow or fast? Yes, fast. So this sentence is what? Wrong. It's what? False. Excellent. So we will choose F. Why? Because it's false. Okay. Now, number three. Falcons can see very far. They can see with their eyes very far. Okay. Kilometers away. Is it true or false? What do you think? Yes, excellent. It's true. That's right. So you will underline the letter F, a T, or you can circle the letter T. Okay. Number four, falcons have soft talons. Do you remember what are the talons? Yes, those are talons. But here says what? Falcons have soft talons. They can't catch anything. Is it right? Is it true or false? False. That's right. So, the falcons have what? Sharp talons. Not soft, sharp. They can catch uh, strong. Excellent. Now, let's start our lesson on page 24. Now, open your books on page 24. Page 24. Excellent. Okay. Today, we have phonics. Number one, listen, say, and match. Listen, say, and match match okay you will use your pen to match between the pictures and the words okay first of all we have this man he is what pointing excellent what does it mean uh, point yes he used his finger to point to something okay so i will point to number one i will point to the number three okay so this is pointing excellent the second picture here we have this Boy, excellent. We have a boy here. Little boy. Okay, we have a boy. Okay, after that, we have, yes, the small money. What is it? It's called coin. Excellent. So we have coin here. So again, point, boy, coin. And here we have, yes, a toy. Excellent. Like robots, cars, okay, anything. So you have what? toy the boys or the children or the girls they can play with okay now we have this word toy we have coin we have boy and we have point what you will do you will match catch a pen and write match between the pictures and the word okay now let's match the words here so we have toy where is toy is it this that 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 where is toy Yes, it's that one over there. So we will take the uh, pen and match it to this picture. Okay, so this is a toy. This is a toy. And look here, we have O and Y. O and Y means what? Oi, oi, toy, like toy. Excellent. Coin, coin. Also, we have O and I. Oi, oi, coin. Okay, where is the coin here? Is it this, this, that? Yes, that is a coin. Excellent. So, we will match coin to this picture. Excellent. After that, we have a boy. 
Where is boy? Is it this or that? We have a man and we have a boy. This is a boy accent. And look at here, we have O and Y. O and Y means what? Oi, oi, like in boy. Okay, so we will match the uh, word boy to the picture here. Last one we have, yes, we have point, point. Why? Because we have O and I, O and I. Okay, what does it mean point? Yes, this is a point, okay? Use your finger to point to something. So we have point like here, and the word is in here. Excellent. So we have again toy, coin, boy, point, okay? Without seeing the words, can you tell me what is this? A toy. What is this? A coin. What is this? A boy. And what about this? Yes, point. Excellent. Okay. Now, number two, listen, say, and match. Again, listen, say, and match. We have the first picture here. We have, what is this animal? A bear. Excellent. We have a bear. Okay. After that, we have this thing. Okay. And this is a map talking about where. Where, where are you going? Okay. Where, where are you traveling? After that, we have this girl. Uh, but we are talking about, what is this? It's uh, her hair. Her hair. Okay. Now, we have this word this word and this word. The first one here is where, where, okay? So if you have E-R-E, -E, you will pronounce as e, air, air, where, okay? Also, if you have A-I-R, also you'll pronounce it as air, like here in hair, hair, okay? Last one here, E-A-R, if you have E-A-R, also you will pronounce as air, like in Bear, bear. So again, we have where, hair, bear. Again, where, say it with me. Say it with me, yes. Where, where, hair, hair, yes. Hair, bear, bear. That's right. Now, let's match, okay? Let's start with bear. Where is bear? Is it this? Is it this or that? Yes, that is bear. Excellent. Now, let's match them together. So, from here up to here. Excellent. So, this is a bear. This is a bear. Okay. The second one here, we have hair. Where is hair? Yes, this is a hair. Okay. So, we will match it to this picture. So, from here up to here. Excellent. Last one is what? Where? Where the place? Where are you going? Where is Muhammad? Where is Fatima? Okay. Where? Where? I can't find it. So you can use where and the, with the map in here. Okay. So now notice the letters here. If you have E R E, air, air. If you have A I R, air. And if you have E A R, also air. Okay. So these are the uh, letters that you can use to, to pronounce it as air. Okay, now, number three, write air, air, or air. Okay, but uh, each one is different in uh, letters. The first one, E-R-E, -E, the second one, E-A-R, and the last one, A-I-R. But all of them you can pronounce as air. Okay, now, the first one here, Number one, I want to eat p. Okay, let's see what is this. Can you tell me what is this? Yes, so this is pear. Okay, pear. But how can we write it? Is it like E R E, E A R, or A I R? So, pear. But how to write pear? pear, pear? Yes, E A R. E A R. So, this is a pear. This is a pair, pair, pair. Excellent. Number two, look at this p pair of shoes, of shoes. So we have shoes, pair of shoes. Okay, pair, pair. Is it E-R-E, E-A-R, or A-I-R? What do you think? Pair of shoes, pair of shoes. Yes, A-I-R, pair. 
pair of shoes. Excellent. Number three, I'd like to sit on that ch chair. Okay, this is a chair. Okay, so we have a chair here. Now, can you tell me how to write chair, air? Is it E-R-E -E or E-A-R or A-I-R? What do you think? Yes, chair with A-I-R, chair, chair. So, pair, pair, chair, pair, pair, chair. Number four, he is, wo yes, wear, wearing a blue coat. So, we have a blue coat here, blue coat, and we have wear, wearing, wearing, okay? Now, how to write the wearing here? Is it like E-R-E? E-A-R or A-I-R, what do you think? Wearing, yes, excellent, E-A-R, E-A-R, so wearing. So again, we have here the first one, pair, pair, also here, pair, the same pronunciation, pair, pair. And we have here chair, chair, air, last one here, wear, wearing, wear. Okay, so we have all these uh, words, the same air, the same pronunciation as air. Okay, uh, advice time. Advice time, what does it mean advice? Advice means what? Means nasiha, excellent. So advice time. What is the advice time for today? A healthy mind needs a healthy body. Again, a healthy mind needs a healthy body. Okay, let's uh, explain it uh, one by one. Healthy mind, what does it mean mind? This is mind, okay? You think, you remember, you memorize by your mind. So we have a mind here and it's healthy, okay? It's good. What does it mean healthy? Sahi, excellent. So you have healthy mind, healthy mind needs, wants, needs what? يحتاج, a healthy body, a healthy Body, okay, what does it mean body? Yes, this is my body, okay? I have a body. But what? A healthy body, okay? Healthy, so that means what? Good body, good body. Okay, in Arabic, we have a uh, sentence, says what? Al-aql al-salim fi al-jism al-salim. This is the same uh, sentence here. So again, a healthy mind needs a healthy body. How to make your body healthy? By what? You can exercise, okay? You can exercise, and this will give your body a healthy uh, situation. After that, we have sleeping. You can sleep very well, and this also will help your body to be healthy. Last one, you can eat what? Healthy food, okay? Not junk food, not fast food, healthy food. Like what? Like fruit, like vegetables okay so these are uh, healthy food so these can help your body to be what healthy to be good okay excellent now a challenge time uh, on page 25 number four listen and match the parts okay then chant okay now we have I'd like to but I'd like to but okay أريد أن أحب أن okay but ولكن but means what ولكن okay now we have some sentences here start with I'd like to and we will find but in this side okay let's read the first one I'd like to play tennis I'd like to I'd like to play tennis okay but but what I have no racket what does it mean racket yes the racket, okay? So I want, I'd like to, okay? I'd like to play tennis, but I don't have, I, 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 uh, I have no racket, okay? So I can't play this game. After that, number two, I'd like to try falconing. Falcon, do you remember falcon? Okay, but what can you choose from here? But there is no rock. Yes, what do you think? Yes, we have, but I have no falcons. Okay, I have no falcon. Third one, I'd like to try riding. I'd like, I'd like, okay? I'd like to, tr uh, to try riding, but yes, I have no horse. 
there is no holes I have. After that, I'd like to try scuba diving, scuba diving in the sea, but there is no sea. There is no sea. After that, I'd like to try rock climbing, rock climbing, but there is no rock. There is no rock. After that, I'd like to try skydiving, skydiving, but there is no plane. Do you know it's a plane? Yes, in the sky. After that, I'd like to try cooking, cooking, okay? But, yes, uh, where is it? But don't uh, know how, but don't know how. Last one, I'd like to try painting, painting, but don't know how, okay? So, he wants or I want to do something, but I have some excuses here. Okay, uh, what does it mean I'd like? It's what an abbreviation of I would like. You can say I would like or you can say I'd like, okay? So it's the same. You can say I'd like or I would like, okay? So after that, we have on page 161, goal 23, page 161, 161, okay? Now we have six pictures here, okay? Listen and practice. The first one, we have a coin. Say it with me, coin, coin, excellent. B, we have boy, boy, say it with me, boy. C, we have point, point, excellent. D, we have toy, toy, excellent. We have here what? Bear, bear. And the last one here we have, what is this? Hair, excellent. We have a hair for this little girl. Okay, now we have number two, unscramble and write the words. Unscramble means make it in the right order. Okay, first of all, we have this word, R-W-E-H-E. What is this word? It's where, excellent, where. So we have where. After that, we have A-R-E-P. This is what? P. Pair. Excellent. Yes. After that, we have R-A-H-I-C. And this is what? Chair. Excellent. We have chair. After that, we have O-T-I-N-P. And this is what? Point. After that, we have W-E-H-R-T. And this is what? There. There. Last one, we have N-I-C-O. If you... Reorder it. Yes, you'll find coin. Coin. Excellent. After that, we have on page the same page 161, number three. Read and answer the questions circle yes or no. You will answer about yourself. You can choose yes or no. Okay. First of all, we have do bears fish? Do bears fish? Yes or no? What do you think? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. So bears can fish. Excellent. Number two is a pear green. What do you think? Yes or no? Yes, you can choose yes. You can choose no if you say. After that, we have, can you point to the moon? Can you point to the moon? Yes or no? Yes, you can. Excellent. Okay, number four. Are you wearing a new pair of shoes? If you're wearing a new shoes, you can say yes. If you don't wearing a new shoes, you can choose no. So you can choose yes or no. Number five. Are you wearing a blue coat? Are you now wearing blue coat? If yes, choose yes. If no, choose no. Okay. Number six. Are you at school now? Are you at school now? If you are at school, you will choose yes. If you're not at school now, you will choose no. Okay. So if you're in, in the school, you will choose yes. Okay. What you've learned today. How to match pictures to the relevant words, write the missing letters according to the pictures, match the correct statements to each other after listening, practice using I'd like to, or I'd like but with different activities. Okay, so this is the end of our lesson today. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Inshallah ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.